Hello and welcome to theme number three of our cardio tennis inspired home workout. My name's Ida Smith coming to you from my home. Um, today's theme is called Got It Covered where we're looking at overhead smashes, could be serves, covering the net. Equipment that you might want to use today, you don't have to use any equipment. So you might want a tennis racket for doing the shadowing or you can just use your hand or as before, you can grab something out the kitchen, anything will do. When we come to the circuit element, you might want to use a little bit of resistance or weight. If you don't have a medicine ball or a slam ball or a weight to hand, no worries. You could use a heavy book. I'm gonna be using Winnie the Pooh, okay? So a heavy book, anything you've got lying around the house, a water bottle, anything to provide a little bit of resistance or you don't need anything, you can just you can just go through the movement patterns without anything. Okay, let's get started. Okay, ready to warm up. Start with your feet just a little bit outside of your hips and just start by relaxing, shaking off any tension out of your arms and legs, only in your chest. Just getting the shoulders nice and warm. Careful not to whack the walls. Okay, and then we start with just an easy bounce. So our recovery movement, feet just a little bit wider than hips, and we're just starting to get warm. Start to get the blood pumping. Okay, next move, jog on the spot, nice and easy. There we go, relax the shoulders. Just gradually get nice and warm. Let's go back to the bounce, side to side. So in our bounce, we're wanting to get our legs really warm. So drop down into your legs a little bit. Push your butt back. Nice and light on the balls of your feet. And then back into the jog. We'll do that one more time. Bounce. And jog. That's it. And each time you come back to your jog, try and lift your heels up a bit higher at the back. So work a little bit harder. Hold it there. Take the feet outside the hips, rotate. So easy back to the middle, other way. So keep your feet facing forwards, knees are slightly flexed, little bend in the knee. Let's go one more each side. Easy, now squat, down and up. Down and up, so in our squat, sit back. Keep your chest up, keep going. Down and up, as you squat, push your knees out, that's it. One more, now this time go down and hold. Hands to the floor, walk to a plank. Now hold your plank, option you can come down onto your knees if you want, try and hold. Now we're gonna tap opposite shoulder. As you tap, try and keep your hips nice and stable. Really strong through the whole body. And hold. Now watch. Foot comes to the outside of the hand. Nice and steady. You can do this on your knees. Just starting to mobilize the hip. Okay, don't worry about how far the foot comes up. Just work within your own range. Okay, feet go wide, walk back. Up you come, single leg, deadlift. All right, so I'm tipping from the hip. I'm reaching towards the floor and my back leg is going up. Let's do four on each side. So I'm trying to make my body flat as a table. And up, change sides. So from the side, tip. And up, good balance challenge. One more. Brilliant, back to the bounce. Let's go through all of that again, but a little bit deeper and a little bit stronger. Run. Heels are kicking your bum if you can. Remember you can take it down if you need to. Bounce, wider, lower. 
run, pump, really get nice and warm. We've got a great workout ahead. It's short and it's sharp, but we need to be ready. Run. Hold, wide, rotate. Feeling warm. It's a beautiful day. One more each side. And back to our squats. Down and up. So push up through your heels. Keep your chest up. That's it. Drive up hard. Two more. Down, walk to plank. Now you know this, taps. Squeezing and holding your body as stable as you can. Two more. Bring the foot up. Again, work within your own range. So good. Last two. Jump wide, walk back, up you go. And let's just finish it off with some bounces and some runs. Some bounces and some runs. Hold it there, well done. Grab a drink if you need and grab your racket. Racket in hand, off we go. So remember you can use your racket or not. Everything we do within this session, as I mentioned before, we're thinking overhead, serves, smashes, and covering the net. So let's just start by warming up the shoulder. Okay, so like a serve, opening up. I definitely don't have the space to use my racket. <laughs> so using your hand is fine. If you've got the space, so if you're outside, use your racket. Couple more. Okay, back to the bounce. So we want to keep the energy up. So remember, because this is a fitness class, we want to stay really low in the legs and working hard from the ground up. Okay, let's just do some volleys. So just side to side, keep the feet moving, weight coming forwards. That's it. Perfect. Back to the bounce. Back to your volleys. So side to side. Try and pick up a little rhythm with your feet. So just keep nice and light and move in. You can have your tunes on and relax, easy. Now come forwards just a little bit. You wanna have some space behind you. Now we're thinking smash it. So we're gonna turn side on and we're gonna go one, two, three, smash. Come forwards, volley. One, two, three, smash. Come forwards, volley. If you don't have room for your racket, it's probably easier. Come forwards and volley. Smash. Now we wanna make this movement keep going as explosive as you can. So as you come back, can you hop? Can you transfer your weight from your back foot to your front foot? and then come forwards and volley. One, two, three. Perfect, easy. Oh, it's quite explosive. Well done, well done. Back to the volleys. So start to build it up again. Can you travel a little wider? So use whatever space you've got. Can you take longer steps? Set. Easy. Easy. Travel forward. You know what's coming. On your side. One, two, three. In. One, two, three. And in. Hop. Reach as high as you can on your smash. Reach up as high as you can. And then low. Thank you. 
Easy. Good. Now keep, keep moving. Whatever you can. One more time, we're gonna go straight into that explosive smash movement. Come forwards. Ready, turn, go. One, two, three. And in. And in. So back, up, and then in fast. Back and up, in fast. Keep going. In fast. One, two, three. Two more. Last one. And keep count. Excellent. Hold that. Woo. Shake it off. Grab yourself a drink of water. Well done. Ready to train. This is the circuit element of the class. We've got seven exercises. We're going to work hard for 30 seconds and then 20 seconds of active recovery, either here or whatever it is you need for 20 seconds. Have your weight, whatever it is you're going to use, your book or whatever you've found lying around, have that ready. And let's go. Our first exercise is a squat jump. So I'll show you quickly. You're going to squat and then jump. Squat, jump. Make sure when you jump, when you land, you land softly. Push your butt out, okay? And use your hands, use your arms to help you. 30 seconds, ready, steady, go. Of course, if you don't want to jump, you can just squat. Keep pushing the knees out, so you're really working your butt. If you can jump, stay with the jumps. Halfway. 10 seconds, feeling the legs. That's what we want, powerful legs as tennis players. Five seconds, three, two, one more. And easy there, relax. Oh my goodness, shake it out. Keep breathing. I'm gonna show you the next exercise. So it's an overhead extension and a rotation. So I'm gonna lean back and I'm gonna to twist to the side. Are you ready? I'm gonna show you from the side. Go. So overhead, extend back, twist. And back to the middle, forwards. Back, twist the other way. Keep going, that's halfway. Keep going. This is great for serves. Overhead, reach back and twist. One more, other way, easy and relax. So you probably want to shake that off, shake that off, keep moving. So our next exercise, we're gonna get the heart rate back up again. So we're gonna shuffle, spotty dogs, whatever you want to call them, but I want you to work as explosively as you can for 30 seconds. Ready, go. So pump your arms. Now you might feel a little bit silly, try and lift your arms up quite high. So you're really pumping them hard. Try and separate the legs further. That's it. Halfway. Keep going, keep going, keep going. As hard and as fast as you can. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Easy, relax. Shake it off. Shake off the legs. Your next exercise. Okay, so hold the weight under your chin, just watch. Squat, press, bend. Squat, press, and bend. Ready? Go. So of course you don't need to use a weight, but if you've got one, it will make a difference. So nice and controlled. Try and get deep into your squat. Power up. And then feel the side of the body working. Got 10 seconds left. We do one more. And easy there. Put your weight down and recover. Shake it off. Next movement is gonna be a twist jump. So think, you wanna keep your shoulders facing towards me and your hips are gonna turn, okay? And then back to the middle. 
that's level one. Level two is here. Okay, as many as you can. 30 seconds, go. So all here. Drop into the legs. Maybe use your hands for balance. Here if you want more. Well over halfway. Go on. 10 seconds. Five. Stop. Legs. Good. Shake it off. Shake it all off. Your next exercise, no weight. It's going to be a quarter single leg squat. Hold. And then leap to the other side. Woo. Catch your balance. Hold. Okay. Ready? 30 seconds. Go. So you want to land in a quarter squat there. Not too much balance. Other side catch. So in tennis on our thirds and on our smashes we have a lot of hopping. Okay, a lot of jumping. Where we're working single leg. Five seconds. Go on, a couple more. And stop. Shake it off. Okay, for your last exercise, we're going to come down onto the floor. So I'll show you first. Down on the floor. Now my shoulders are down, but my knees are facing you. I'm going to work for 15 seconds on one side, 15 on the other, like this. Okay? Go. So I'm reaching up towards my heel. I'm keeping my shoulders square. I'll tell you when we're halfway. Whew. Breathe out, breathe in. Out the way up, in the way down. One more. Change sides. The knees the other way. Go. Really feel those obliques working, which we want to be powerful as we rotate. It's a rotational sport. Five, four, Three, two, one more, and hold it there. Pull your knees into your chest. Just have a little rock side to side, and then roll yourself up. So stay facing me. Well done. Now, bring one foot forwards, bring the hips forwards, and let's just have a little stretch. Now, of course, if you want to do that again, sit back and you can repeat the circuit. Push the hips back, lift up the toes, stretch the hamstrings. I hope you enjoyed that. Change sides. Sit forwards. Hips forwards. Just kind of sink into that. It's lovely. Just breathe. Push back. So you might want to stretch for a little bit longer. Make sure you stretch up the main muscle groups. Okay, come on up. Switch your quads. Hold a wall if you want to. Send knees together. Bend the, the standing knee. And change. And bring the heel across the knee. Then stick your bum out, stretch your glutes. Powerful muscle group. Change sides. Push back, well done. We want to stretch our calves. I love to stretch calves against the wall. Okay. So foot up against the wall and then lean into the wall. Lovely stretch. Down here, one more. And well done, just shake off your shoulders. You might want to give those a little stretch as well. Shoulders, triceps, well done. Again, keep an eye on the LTA channels. There's more workouts coming your way. Well done. Drink water.